Hello, it's Angie with Heart Wellness Coaching, and I want to give you a quick tutorial about the difference between A1 and A2 dairy. You may have seen in the grocery store some milk cartons labeled A2 milk, and this refers to the type of protein that's in that milk. So A1 dairy, which is what we've all grown up with and what's primarily um, in the United States, comes from Holstein cows. So most of our domestic commercial dairies use Holstein cows and the protein in those cows is referred to as A1 casein. Jersey cows and Guernsey cows, which are primarily used in European countries and almost exclusively in France, Italy, and Switzerland, um, have A2 dairy or A2 casein. So A2 protein is more easily digestible by the human gut. So we um, typically have less issues with bloating, with gas, with um, digestive inflammation when we're primarily eating A2 dairy. So these, this type of dairy is available in, in most areas and you're gonna see a lot of times it'll be labeled A2 right on the, on the label. If you, if you buy cheese that's imported from France, Italy, or Switzerland, it is most likely gonna be A2 dairy, so better for the, for the gut. If you're buying goat or sheep cheese, that is also an A2 type of dairy. So easily, more easily digestible by the human digestive system. This is not referring to lactose. It is not about the milk sugar, it's about the milk protein. So people can be lactose intolerant and still have problems with A2 because it's the milk sugars that they're having issues with. So this is not necessarily for people who are um, having lactose issues. So you can get safer dairy that's better for your gut. I still don't recommend a diet that's heavy in dairy because dairy can very commonly be a trigger food for inflammation, even if it is A2. So my suggestion is if you're gonna be putting cream in your coffee, use A2 cream. And again, you can find that in most areas and it'll typically be in like the higher end grocery stores like Market of Choice or if you have a local co-op or natural grocers. Maybe, maybe Trader Joe's, I haven't looked there. Um, if you are just using it for cream in your coffee, if maybe you're having you know, a little bit of, of uh, A2 cheese once in a while, but not drinking milk, not having um, cereal with milk, not using loads of sour cream, um, not eating ice cream. These are, these are important considerations for overall health. So I hope that explains a little bit about the difference between A1 and A2 and, and I hope that makes a little bit of sense for you. And um, f please feel free to reach out to me if you have more questions or if you would be interested in health coaching, I am taking new clients. All right, have a great day.